Erase. Right, Zach? You can't just do that. Yeah, you can. Hold on. Okay, so. That's just stupid if you get, I want to raise. That's right. So if you walk into your boss and say, hey, I want to raise, and your boss says, no. And you got nothing. But if you walk into your boss and you have a claim, hey, I think I deserve a raise, and here's why. And then you list your evidence. I've been here all, on time for three months. I, I work extra shifts, probably two extra shifts a week. I stay 10 minutes later than I have to. I get here 10 minutes earlier than I need to. I take care of my customers. I got great reviews. I think I, I've earned a raise. When I get a raise, your boss says, you know what? Let me think about this. But what I'm seeing here, you're right. You probably do deserve one. And because you have evidence, because you have been able to figure things out and you've got uh, uh, a good claim, then you get that raise. So mom and dad, I, I should be able to stay out later. Nope. But if you go to the mom and dad, hey, I've been working really hard to take, help take care of the siblings. You know, I babysit for free all the time. I'm always home on time. I help with the dishes. You know, I think I should be able to stay out 30 minutes later. 30 minutes? Huh? Just three minutes like, later. No. Really? I'm just yeah. like, I don't, hey, like, hold I don't on. ever look at anybody else except for my kids. Okay. No. Like, I have medical students. Okay. Well, well these, these aren't the only examples I can think of. These are the ones I share on a regular basis. So when you go with evidence to whatever it is you're going to talk about, and you have, and you have a good argument there, then you're going to get what you're going to get more of what you want. Okay? You like this person? Hey, I really like you. I think you're great. He said, eh, I don't know. He said, Well, I've had a job for a year. Uh, I get these kind of grades. Uh, I wear these kind of clothes. I take care of myself. I don't stink. And I think you're attractive. And I don't want to go out. And then, you know what? You're not too bad. You make good points. Yeah, let's go out. Now I know that's not how relationships usually go. However, like how, however, <laughs> however, ladies, if your guy hasn't had a job for a year, oh god, then you shouldn't date him. That's perfect. Right? <laughs> That's because perfect. because later in life, they're going to be depending on you if they can't keep well, the job. Unless you've had job in like fourteen years. So. Anyway, I've had my job for a couple of years. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this. So this is about figuring out. This is it not? Hey. This is about figuring things out. This is not about whether or not you remember 10 years from now how to make fog. I don't care if you remember that. This is about learning how to figure things out on your own. Okay? It's not about the fog. It's about the learning process. It's about being, being able to be smart and figure things out. Because if you can figure stuff out on your own, that's going to help you a ton in everything you do. Not just science. Not just being a science teacher. Not being, just being a math teacher. Okay, so that's what we're doing. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so you should be sharing what you notice with the fog. We're going to do a sharing lesson up here in front of class in just a sec. Hey, guys, that's, that's not the topic we should be on right now. Why did you do that? Focus. Get on topic. I don't do that. Oh. Hey, did you guys already share? Yeah. What do you got? It's. Uh, uh, that's always <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Hey guys, um, I'm noticing something that's very interesting. I'm noticing something very interesting with a lot of groups. Some of you are saying high humidity. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Uh, what do I want? Like fluctuates. Oh, like no. between what numbers? No. Yes, I need numbers. Okay. If you're telling me what days have fog and it's high humid, great. What does that mean? Okay, maybe in your opinion, five percent is high. Maybe fifty percent is high. Maybe ninety percent is high. I don't know. So put numbers with it whenever you can. So right now, go back through your observations, and if you can add a number to it, do it. Two thirty-four. Really. Look, he said at the beginning of school that yeah. Yeah. All right. well, like I, well, I don't know, that's not how they The board would be like, how to tell time. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, no, I learned that in fourth grade. Every, every, I don't know year, that first grade. every year, I have students who don't know how to tell time, and that's fine. I learned that like third grade. It's okay. It's okay. Like I know how to read it, I just don't want to. That's that's silly. Hey, hey. So I'm not seeing very many of you guys do what I'm asking you to do. Go back to your observations and add numbers. I added the Bruce. Okay. Good. Good. Say you were a liar. Some days no fog. Days some. Same temperature, what temperature? If it says temperature, what temperature? If it says high humidity, what humidity? If it says high temperature, what temperature? If it says, if it says high wind, what wind?
No. Nobody hires under 15 years old. Really? Okay. Did you fix them? Are they all fixed? All right, so let me... Let's say this again. If it says temperature, I need to know what temperature. If it says humidity, what humidity? If it says wind speed, what speed? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. That seems that seems to be pretty general. I don't feel like putting rain because there's so many dates in the calendar. Well, there's really not. Is this stuff we did yesterday for the grade? Always. Yeah. All right, guys. So let's look at this a little bit more. Um, tell me something you guys notice about the time. Okay, don't answer out loud yet. What do you notice about the time? Don't answer out loud. Okay, raise your hand. Tell me, what do you guys notice about the time? Yeah. Early in the morning. Be specific. Or an hour. Hold on. Be specific. Near an hour and a couple minutes. Mm, no, because... Be specific. Okay. Yeah. Don't tell me you don't know. <laughs> guys... No, it says 3.36 a.m. Be specific. Don't tell me it's early. What time? 3.36. Okay. And then it goes up. 23 minutes. 23 minutes. And then, and then it skips an hour. It goes an hour. Sometimes but be, start specific. Okay, It goes from 3.36 to 11.53 at night. Hey, Dang, so much I noticed several of you say... Day, 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 when this is barely an hour on some of these. So this is not even a full day span of time. So you say, man, there's lots of days of fog. No, this is one day. It's just okay? between those hours. Right. How can the weather change this much in just one day? Because one Well, that's a good question. Because it literally goes from shallow fog to scattered clouds to most of the clouds to mist to fog to scattered clouds. Okay. I dropped it. I tried to catch it, but I missed it and I hit it. I was like, mm -hmm. Okay, so, all right, so that was that was uh, time. Now, I want you guys to tell me, what do you notice about temperature? Think, look at temperature up there now. Right here. What do you notice about temperature? Raise your hand. What do you notice? Yes. The lower the temperature, the more there is fog. No. The thicker the No. Oh my gosh. Be specific. Oh my god. I'm That's, so what, I'm, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It is forty eight point nine degrees Fahrenheit. Thank there is you. more fog. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Specific people, we need quantitative <laughs> numbers here when we can get them. Well, quantitative numbers are things number numbers. <laughs> Are you seriously going to ask more and more questions off topic, please? I'm, I'm All right, hold on. Bo wants to say something. What's up? Um, wait. Are you from 1053 a.m. to 1253 a.m.? Hey, Riley. There's 10-mile visibility and from what... Uh, 12.53 p.m. to 11.53 p.m. There's also 10 mile visibility. Okay, so you notice a you notice a pattern between visibility here and visibility here. Correct? Okay, so he, he said something specific. Good. So tell me about the humidity. What do you guys that. notice about the humidity? Hey, hold on. You two lovely students, put your hands down. Okay, every, every, everybody put your hands down. When I'm saying look, and you're not looking, those people who are not looking are saying, Mr. Taylor, please give me homework tonight. Please give me homework tonight. No. If you're not going to pay attention, you better, you better make it look like you're paying attention. I want you to think while you're here. If you're not going to think while you're here, then I'm going to make you think while you're at home. <laughs> give me your time now. And then you can have your nice to yourself. This is not hard. And you guys are smart. Okay? So, when I say look, at least pretend to pay attention. Okay? That's the first step that's smart. The really smart thing is to actually try. Okay? Some of you are bored. I get it. But you give me your time now. I won't take your time later. All right? 
I'm not trying to be a hard ass. I love you guys. I care about your future. I want you to be able to figure things out. I don't care if you know fog. I don't care. Are you crying? No. <laughs> I care that you can figure things out. Okay, my job is to train you how to be smart. How to. It, You know how to do what the teacher wants you to do. That doesn't mean you're smart. Just because people get A's does not mean they're smart. It means they know how to hoop jump. Hoop jump. They can jump through the hoops that teacher gives them. I thought you said hoops jump through the hoops. Yeah, I know. I ain't jumping the hooches. Get back. Get back. So, please, guys, give me your time now. Help me create strong fingers out of you, which many of you are well on your way. Let's do it now, and there will not be homework. But next time, Friday, I'm going to come prepared for weekend homework. Okay? So please, give me attention now. I want to take your time later. All right? We can do this. At least pretend like you're paying attention. You know what that means? Yeah. Eyes on me, eyes up here, eye on whoever's talking. If I give, if I give Ryan the time to talk, then freaking look at Ryan. Make it make it believable to me that you're paying attention, because you might actually be, and that's going to be good for all of us. All right. Now, another side note: when I say I love you, most of you I don't know well enough to really say I love you. But when I say I love you, that means I care about your future, and I really do. I want you guys to succeed. I don't want to have you guys be the bum that walks down the street all day that I see on the road out here sometimes. I don't want you. I don't want you to be that person. If he's happy with his life, great. If that's what you want to do with your life, great. But I want you to have the opportunity to do more. I don't care where you work. If that's the job you want, I'll support you 100%. Okay? All right. So let's try this again. Yes. Wait. So what was my question so everybody remembers? Uh, what, what do you notice about humidity? Like, what do you notice about humidity? Okay, now, now you're going to give us some specific information, aren't you? I think she is. What do you guys think? Raise your hand if you think she's going to be specific. So that's if you don't believe in her. All right. Well, I can, we got your back. Go ahead. Okay. I'll believe you. So, the, um. I've got this, Mom. Come on. <laughs> so he's like, come on. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the lower the temperature, the lower the humidity. Okay. So, like, 46.9 is at 93, but then, no, that does not add up. Hey. I got one. Okay. So you're changing your opinion on what you said, right? That's good. So you're learning from yourself. That's great. Okay, what's up? All right. So the humidity uh, fluctuates between 34% and 100%. Okay. So that's a good notice. You see 34%, you see 100%. Okay. What else do you notice, Bo? Well, at 10.53 a.m. and um, below the temperature is lower than, like, mm -hmm. the higher humidity percentages, like, um, at 953 a.m. and up on the chart, it's always like 93 to 100%. Okay, so we see a lot of 93 to 100%. Good. Yes. When the humidity is at 100, the fog is more present. Mm -hmm. So he sees a trend. When the humidity is close to 100% or at 100%, he sees fog. Let's see if that's true. 97, 93, 100, 97, 100, 100, 100. 100. Yeah. So, are there other times when there's 100% or high 90s but no fog? There are. Okay. Got 96, no fog. 93, no fog. Uh, 93, 97, 100, no fog. However, when we do see fog, we do see high percentage of humidity, right? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay. anybody want to comment on the wind? Or, excuse me, this is noise. Yep. Yeah. Um, when there's fog, it, the miles go down. Like when the visibility goes down. Yeah. Yeah. Common sense, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. If you <laughs> if you figure out what you want to share and you want to say it, raise your hand. Okay. All right. So what about uh, what about wind direction? What do you guys notice about wind direction? Going west well, when there's way. when there's more fog, like when there's fog, it's either west or calm. Uh, okay, so when there's fog, it's either west or calm. Are there lots of west and calms without fog? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, so we have to be careful if we're making assumptions. That is an excellent observation, though. So we've got to be careful what we read into it. Uh, wind uh, speed. Yeah, Bill. Um, all the wind speeds and the wind directions, whenever there's all calm, or like when all the wind directions are calm, all the wind speeds. Ah, so down here, calm, 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 calm. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, we got calm, 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 calm. Good. Yes. Calm, 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 calm. Lower the wind speeds, there's calm, better calm. chance of fog. Lower wind speeds, better chance of fog. Let's see if that's accurate. So these are low. Yes. Fog. Yes. Low. That is pretty low. Fog. Yes. Low. Fog. No. There's almost as many of these as there are of these, almost. So, you know, I, I, I think you could say that I noticed that at 3.5 miles per hour, there's fog. And sometimes when it's calm, there's fog. Okay. So you have, you have some good ideas there. What about, um, I guess that's it. Okay. Well, the conditions are kind of weird, though. Because, like, they said that rain had to be something to do with fog, but it's clear. Well, that's what we said. Yeah. But what does this data say? It says that it just has to be clear. It doesn't really matter anyway. Because there was mist before uh, that time. And then, yeah, I feel like there was time. And then it was clear at the beginning. Okay, so what I want you to do on your paper, put a line across the last thing you wrote. Based on what you saw with your own data, based on what you see with, your, with the data from up here, what is it you think causes fog? What are the conditions that need, you need to have to get fog? Write it down, no talking, this is your own brain. What do you think needs to happen in order to, for there to be fog? So if you don't have a data sheet in front of you that has fog on it, in other words, this column's empty, then look up here. Based on what you see up here, what needs to happen in order for there to be fog? to happen based on the evidence we've seen the data we looked at what do you think needs to happen in order for there to be fall right down here please okay so why do you say that is that what you notice here or up there does NA mean no answers yes or non active yeah. Where does where do you that's the that's not available? Not available. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so give me give me that example. Sure, that's good. That's good. That's good. Because otherwise I kind of doubt what you're saying, but your example is perfect. Oh my god, I'm not your guy. Next, we're just huge next huge time your cell phone goes in the pocket. Huge. All right. Share your ideas with your group. What do you think is necessary for there to be fog? Visibility means that you can see through the air where there's fog and you can't see through. That's why they have the visibility. Yeah, visibility is how far you can see. So this is how many miles. You got six miles all the way down to point two miles. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? How can you only see 0.5 miles, 0.2 miles, and there's no fog? What freak? 
a mountain. Well, if there's rain, what does it say? Oh, wait, we got mist. Hmm, that's interesting. I have, I have not noticed that before. Yes, you did. Like, you're being sarcastic. No, I'm not. That's interesting. He's wanting us to make us think more, but now no. I just don't feel like No, it. I'm not. Really? Okay. Do we have to do Of course. Y'all are looking for the... Good board. Yeah. Make sure we're ready. Yeah, we just have the last nine minutes to like sleep. Uh, no. Almost. I'll give you the last five minutes. Okay, so let's let's try this again. Or let's have some more sharing. What what are your thoughts? What do you think needs to happen in order to have fog? Low temperature. Low temperature. Okay. So so hold on. Well, we'll come back to low temperature in a minute. So I'm going to write that down. So we got low temperature. High humidity. Low. M. High. That's an N. Hume. Huh? That's just hun. Bro, you no. said hun and hume. And temp. Ten. No, there was, it was there. Wait, low, why are you saying hun for? There you go. Low to calm humidity. wind speeds. Calm wind speeds. Like, yeah, motor cold. Like, yeah. Obsessive. And then. Wind. Okay, hold on. Are you guys agree with this? Yes. yes. No, wait, wait. Is it always got to be calm? I say it's got to be warm. So we did. Okay, so some says high temp. I said high temperature. Humidity. The wind doesn't matter. Okay, humidity. And then wind speed and humidity. The wind? Wind, wind speed what? I what disagree. About the wind speed? I disagree. Hold on. Well, you shouldn't just be looking at this one. Okay, this is one data set. What does your data set say? Yeah. Where's the one with the fog on? What up, you say? Okay, but there's three. Okay. Well, no, not really. All right, who else has something to add to this? I, I disagree. And high okay, so that's already up there. I, I know. That's very disagree. Which one? The wind at the high matter. temperature. I don't see falling high temperature. Like, you don't really see it. Yeah. Okay, so you two feel it has more to do with humidity, less to do with temperature. Right. Okay, so what do you because mean? Because, like, cold like compared cold. to what? Like, colder than 70 degrees. So you only see fog during the winter? You want to see fog during the winter? No. Yeah. You want to see fog? Or like in the morning, like in the morning when it's cooler. Oh, in the morning when it's cooler. <coughs> That's interesting. Yeah. In I don't think it's in the morning. 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 Okay. Uh, Riley, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, my hands about 14 is that good. Not 14. The wind doesn't matter. You don't feel the wind matters? No. Why? Yeah. Hold, on, hold on, let him answer. You got this right. Got it. Three point five miles an hour, and you still got fog. And you got calm, and you still got fog. Don't matter. Well, what's the difference between calm and three point five? You know how fast three point five is? Not fast. This is three point five. Is that, a, is that a strong wind? Yeah. No. So I can barely feel it on my face right now. You walk in three point five miles an hour. So that is five point eight. Five miles an hour. I can feel that. that is not <laughs> uh, how much you want to bet? What about 45? I don't know my speed. I don't know how fast it is. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Um, we'll continue with this next time. What I do need is I need you to bring your data sets back to me as a from, from your group. I need your name getting carried on the paper. Yeah. Wow, I sure love how the data is. Can we keep up with this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not what chair are we putting this on? Oh. Uh, on the table by the thermostat. Uh, okay, which one are we supposed to turn in? This one or that one? Uh, okay. yeah. So please bring me you back here. Your numbers data. Put the, uh, put the other paper back in your bag. And that goes on the table. Thank you.
Really? Yes, I'm going to be. 